Good morning, prayer team. Welcome to Thursday morning prayer and devotion. I received a good report from uh, Sister Jenny Perkins yesterday uh, regarding Lucy, the girl who was in the motorcycle accident and suffered major head trauma. Uh, she went back to school yesterday after having had part of her skull replaced just two weeks ago. So our God is amazing, always faithful, and we celebrate this great progress in that situation. Uh, we need to pray today for Carmen's bonus mom, Robin. She's having surgery tomorrow. Also, we've been waiting for biopsy results um, from one of Carmen's friends, praying for peace in that situation, uh, praying for Regina's family member who was in a car accident and had a broken pelvis and other serious injuries, uh, Sister Carol Dixon facing possible surgery, uh, ben Ramey is recovering from flu, and uh, he has been cleared to go back to work today, uh, but he's still uh, quite weak. Melana Cummins has many health needs, needs our continued prayers. She's been under huge amounts of stress lately uh, with family issues and uh, health issues, and she needs the Lord to move for her today. Michael Williams has been having pain in his back, and uh, we have many others on our list who continue to suffer with back pain, including Regenia, Chris, Carolyn, Becky, Rebecca, Britt, Cindy, Jenny. Uh, this is Pam's daughter, Jenny, Brianna Williams, Johnny and Terry Nelson, Jennifer Williams, Tammy Lawson, and Elveda Walker. Uh, we have several who have arthritis pain, Virgil, Jimmy, Rose, June, and Sister Judy's mom. Chris Ramey uh, has just come home from rehab. She has major mobility issues. Uh, Donna Robinson, Sheila, Sammy, and Renee all with mobility problems as well. We're praying for Marcia's foot uh, as she is uh, uh, trying to avoid surgery, and the doctor has come down to one last option for that. We're praying for the Cummins family's friend, Steve Echeverria, who had a stroke uh, that's affected one side of his body, uh, unable to move on that side, and also unable to speak. So we're praying for healing and recovery for him as well as praying continued recovery uh, for all those who have suffered stroke in the recent and distant past and continue on with their therapy uh, toward full recovery. Also, uh, Pastor Chris Dew, Brother David Kent, Gus Sappington, uh, Judy Williams' daughter's co-worker, uh, all with uh, major health issues that require long-term um, recovery and they need strength for that. Olivia needs healing of her kidneys and of endometriosis. Uh, Doug Seaball has stage four kidney failure. Kristen's friend Dave and Oscar Smith also have kidney problems. Meredith uh, needs healing of her liver and eradication of toxin buildup. Sherry needs a liver transplant. We're praying for those with stomach issues, including Michael Parrott, Regina Marlin's granddaughter Aubrey, Pam's granddaughter Savannah, Amber Kay, and Heather Spence, all those who need healing of diabetes. Uh, we're praying for again today, Belinda, Jimmy Warren, Cheryl Chance for the Pulliam, Christian Carr, Titus Dornbach, um, Cindy and Lloyd Page, Steve Cummins, Anthony Williams, Michael Williams, Tim Workman, Evie, Emily Stanley, Rebecca, Rose Brown, J.R. Johnson, myself, Kristen's neighbor, Natalie, uh, Kristen's cousin, Grady, Lola Dickinson, Holly, and Zach Osgood's former co-worker's husband. Uh, Stella needs a heart transplant. Uh, let's continue to pray for this uh, child, as well as praying for Brantley and Elsie, who have heart issues, Darla's granddaughter with seizures, Tammy's granddaughter Emily with epilepsy, baby G with several health problems, Bailey May with hearing loss, Abel with PKU and autism, Tano with spina bifida, and Abram with GNA01 disorder. I pray for those who have chronic lung conditions, as well as those uh, who are battling seasonal illnesses that affect the lungs, such as COVID, bronchitis, uh, and pneumonia. Uh, those with heart problems need our continued prayers on that list. Kenny Burns, Mark Condon, Chaney, Donnie Wilson, Jenny Perkins' dad, Robin Felver, Holly, Doyle, Amy D, Cheryl LaChance, Brother Morris, Kelly B, Blaine, Kenny Prenzel, Sister Patty Arnold, Joyce Fisk, David Duggar, Michelle Strain's mother, and Jimmy Warren. I'm praying for Tracy's home to sell. Uh, she has MS, and her daily commute 
is very stressful on her. She drives an hour each way uh, back and forth to work. So we're praying for her healing and also for this situation with her um, with her residents. Sarah Stroop, Marty DeLott, and Riley March also needing healing of MS. Uh, those uh, battling Parkinson's include Tim Workman, my dad, Kristen's friends, Matt, uh, friend Matt, Beulah Ziegler, uh, my mother-in-law, Russ, who is Carmen's bonus dad, and Marsha's mother-in-law, Vivian. Uh, pray for Melena, Beth, Marsha, and Marsha's co-worker son, and all others who suffer with migraine headaches. Uh, pray for those who are continuing to battle cancer. Uh, these include Bud Taylor, Mike Sappington, Kenny Burns, Julia Nelson, Pat's sister Pam, Jim Ramey, Maggie Lowry, Marsha's co-workers aunt, Linda Young, Rebecca Peterson, Cheryl, Diane, Heather, Dennis, Dwayne, Claire, Alice, Scott, Michelle's sister Cindy, Marsha's friend's grandparent, Daniel Dickinson, Valerie, Betty, Ari, Jamie Joe's grandfather, Gladys Sims, Jordan, and Christine. Also Maisie with a brain tumor. This is Jamie Joe's cousin. Darling Virginia going through precautionary treatments after having been cleared of cancer some time back. Mr. Jennings is on hospice care. Uh, Vivian, Kristen's friend's dad, Johnny's mom, Melena's mom, and Ben's stepdad, Tom, need healing of uh, memory issues and dementia. Uh, praying for healing of shingles for Bob Perkins, Emily DeLott, Marsha's neighbor Carol, and Regina Marlin, and praying for other health needs uh, for Devin Huff, Michelle Clark, George Tibbs, Judy Williams' brother, Bob and Shirley Perkins, Cheryl Ogden, Robin Tibbs, Kristen's friend Ann, Cheryl Lachance's uncle, Marshall Link, Pat Wilson, Robbie, Randy Reeves, Venus, Lois, uh, Eddie Potts, and Belinda's best friend. Uh, continue praying for those who are in nursing homes. They need compassionate and competent care and encouragement. Uh, those who are um, on the front line spiritually, our missionaries here in North America and globally need constant prayer, especially pray for our, uh, our uh, Missouri North American missionaries, the Castillo family in Springfield, working hard to raise up a new work there. We need more, more, more works in all of our uh, larger cities in Missouri. Uh, our Metro missionaries, Tim and Rachel Richmond in Detroit, Jerry and Ann West in Washington, D.C., and now a newly appointed Donnie Willis, a Metro missionary to New York. Let's continue to lift them up today. Um, all of our Missouri NAM pastors need constant prayer cover. We have 11 families on status here in addition to the Castillo family that we just mentioned. I pray for all of our military personnel uh, and for the Haitian family who minister to our missionary families in Germany, or to our military families, rather, uh, as missionaries to them, uh, and all of our military chaplains. Uh, let's pray for them today that God would help them to uh, minister to the uh, spiritual needs uh, of our troops. Uh, pray for persecuted believers and access challenged nations again today. Our missionaries who are in war zones, the Tamyevs, uh, especially today, uh, those ministering in um, uh, the Middle East where uh, we're dealing with the war currently. Uh, let's pray for an end to that war, for uh, Israel's peace, and for uh, Ukraine uh, and Russia to come to peace terms as well. Uh, and our spiritual and family needs this morning. We need to keep praying for Stephanie and her children. They're needing restoration in relationships. Uh, Johnny Nelson's nieces and nephews need salvation. Belinda has an urgent financial need. She has a family member who's been causing her problems. Uh, we're praying for Mark and Jenny as they continue to uh, deal with uh, family situations in Texas. Uh, we're praying for Jenny Perkins' sister, Lisa, who needs mental, emotional and spiritual healing. Uh, if you have a chance to go back and, and view last night's uh, Bible lesson, if you haven't done so, right now we're talking about emotional wholeness, a very important subject and um, um, very vital lessons that we all need. God wants us to be whole and not just physically because we are complex beings of body, soul, and spirit, and we, uh, we need to be healthy in every every way so a lot of those issues are addressed in that lesson judy johnson's grandson beulah ziegler's granddaughter jr johnson uh, needing 
the Lord to move in their lives today. Jeffrey needs reconciliation in his family. He needs healing for his wife. We're praying for Shirley and others who battle suicidal thoughts. Uh, Brother Leo O'Hara, um, I missed his name on the uh, health needs, but he was sick last night needing a touch of the Lord. Marsha has a family member who's been having panic attacks and needs deliverance. Virginia needs prayer for a family member with a broken heart. We continue to pray for revival in our communities and for the safe return of prodigals. Uh, we're praying for Mark Perkins' sons, Matt and Mark, both who need to return to the Lord. Um, we're lifting up uh, David, praying for his return to God. Colton, um, Rose, his family, and several families on our heart. Uh, pray for the Cummins family, the Joneses, the Marlins, the Clarks, the Moores, the Williams, the Pulliams, and the Biddick family, Annette and Dave, Marsha's friend Ashley, Marsha's friend Linda, all of these needing the Lord to move on their behalf as well. Our Mingo RCF residents uh, need prayer uh, going there today for Bible study. I ask that you would give me prayer cover for that today. Our Mingo Job Corps students, God is working there. We have new students every service. Another uh, first-time guest from Job Corps in our midweek service last night. Uh, Jacob, Josh, Allen, Ashley, Dawson, Charles, Frank, William, and Dana are battling addiction. Uh, there's just no end to the needs that we need to be praying about. And some are on the list, some have, are not on the list, but they are on our hearts and they are in the form of unspoken needs. So let's continue to lift these up. We have young people right now who are straying. Um, uh, not many of our young people here locally, but we do have some that are really struggling and um, we need the Lord to intervene before they really mess their lives up. Um, we need to pray for Regina's daughter, Chelsea, and pray for Belinda. Both of these are uh, needing God to move in job situations. Uh, we do have unspoken needs for Cheryl a Chance, Judy Johnson's family, Regina's family, Johnny's niece, Jessica, Terry's youngest sister, Robin Kay, Venus's daughters, Judy Williams' family, Johnny's family, Tracy Powers, and Belinda with three unspoken needs. We are praying for peace and comfort for the family of Larry Worthen, who passed away recently, uh, praying for the family of Michael Sides as he passed away in prison this past Sunday. Carmen's great-niece Anna lost her mom this week, uh, and this is after having lost her dad several years ago, so she's now parentless, and there are also two kids uh, left in the home uh, that need our prayers as they uh, are, are grieving the loss of their mother. Lanny and Starla Moore had a house fire last week and lost everything, so we need to pray for them as they deal with that situation. Uh, pray for those who have lost loved ones recently uh, or suffered property damage due to uh, severe storms and tornadoes that swept through uh, much of the um, central uh, U.S. So, uh, so many things we need to be praying about today, as I said, and we're going to continue. Um, and uh, we're, we're praying for an unspoken need for Carmen this morning as well. Carmen, I just now saw that, uh, the unspoken need that you want added to our list today. Um, well, I'll tell you what, let's uh, take a moment here and see who's with us today before we get into devotion. As you can see, I have to kind of go through these right now as at breakneck, uh, breakneck speed, I guess you would say, um, in order to get through everything. Good morning, Terry, Pam, Ben, Judy, Johnny, Carmen, Belinda, uh, Kristen. Uh, she's telling us that Christine has a good report, believing for a clean MRI report in a couple of months, needs healing of leg and arm affected by the brain tumor removal surgery. So we have been praying for Christine. Thank you for that update. Um, so I thank God for each of you, uh, who are helping me pray this morning. There are 12 of us, uh, the magic number, I guess, the number of the disciples. And we've got that number here right now joining together online. And uh, I want to read to you two short passages of scripture this morning. First of all, Ecclesiastes four, verse nine, I'm reading from the King James version today. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, the one will lift up his fellow, but woe to him that is alone when he falleth, 
for he hath not another to help him up. And then Psalm 133, a very familiar passage as well, uh, verse reading verse 1 through uh, 3. Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garment, as the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Where did the Lord command blessing? Well, he, he commanded on Mount Hermon, but in the context of this passage, he's saying he commanded blessing where there is unity. What a powerful thought this morning and the thought of dwelling together in unity, the importance of our fellow believers and the importance of close relationships as Ecclesiastes, um, the passage from Ecclesiastes uh, tells us today. You know, God places specific people in our lives to help us in the journey of following the Lord. Uh, take a look at your life today and make sure that you have these four relationships. We've been talking about things kind of in groups of four. We talked about the uh, acronym SOAP and ACTS when it comes to prayer. This is not an acronym today, but there are four types of relationships that need to be present in our lives as Christians uh, at all times. First of all, everybody needs a mentor. Uh, this is a Christian who is mature in their relationship with God. It could be your pastor or a, a departmental leader in the church, someone who's over a ministry in your church, someone that you can look up to and uh, that will help you as an example in your journey of living for God. Uh, everybody should have a friend. If you don't have any friends, the Bible tells us how to, how to have friends. If you want to have friends, you show yourself friendly. You be friendly to others, and before long, you will have friends. So we need friends in our relationship with God. Uh, we need other Christians. We need someone who knows us well and is in a similar stage of life as you. And, and people come to my mind. Uh, Chuck Carr uh, comes to my mind when I think of a friend. Um, his father comes to my mind as someone who is a, has been a mentor uh, in my life. And, and Pastor Chuck has even fulfilled the mentor role as well, even though we are uh, close to the same age and in some ways in similar stages of, of life. But we, we need friends, uh, and it should be someone that is able to ask us hard questions and share hard truths with us. We cannot make it in our walk with God if we do not have Christian friends uh, to uh, take that journey with us. Then everybody uh, needs a protege or a disciple, someone who's looking up to you. You don't just need a mentor, but you need to have a mentee, if that is a word, a protege. Someone who uh, maybe is not even yet a Christian or they are brand new to their faith. Your role is to continually point them to Jesus and to help them in their journey of growth. I have um, a church that I pastor uh, but at the same time, uh, right now I have uh, six uh, disciples, people that I'm spending uh, much time with on a weekly basis, teaching them personally. We all need to find someone that we can lead uh, by our example. And then we must have the church. We are not designed to live life alone. The church is Jesus' body here on earth, and we are called to both receive and contribute to that local community of believers we must dwell together in unity. And if we will do that, God's already commanded blessing upon that. It doesn't matter if it rains on Mount Hermon because God's commanded there to be dew every morning to make sure that there is sustenance for growth there. And so we don't have to have any other external source. When we have the church and God's commanded blessing upon us, uh, we are going to flourish in that environment. Praise God. I feel encouraged in the Lord today, and I trust that you do too as we go to prayer this morning. I believe that God is going to move in every need, and we're just going to give these things to him today and trust him with them. Let's take a moment and just glorify the name of the Lord.
and enter his gates with thanksgiving, come into his courts with praise today. Lord Jesus, we love you. We thank you that we can come together as a community of believers, a community of faith right here online. And we know, God, this does not in any way replace our local church. Lord, we need our uh, our local uh, church family. We need the fellowship of one another in our church services. And we thank you, God, that we have churches that we are a part of. But we thank you also for this uh, this team today that comes from many churches that are lifting up needs today. I thank you, Lord, for bringing us together, Lord, with that principle that two are better than one. Unity is better than uh, harmony is better than just one voice today. And we give you praise and glory for the way that you're using this prayer team. Hallelujah. We glorify your name and your name alone today. You alone are worthy of praise. And you have made us worthy by your blood. So we exalt you. We extol you. We magnify your name. Hallelujah. We come to your throne of grace this morning with boldness, O oh God. Hallelujah. Knowing, Lord, that in our time of need, you are there, you are faithful, just as you have moved for Lucy, and she's already back in school after all that she has suffered from this motorcycle accident. Lord, you have moved on our behalf. We give you praise. We praise you for Christine today and for the good report that she just received in regard to the cancer that she's battling. We believe for another good report uh, from this MRI that's coming up. We give you glory and praise. Hallelujah. We pray for Robin, who's having surgery tomorrow. In the name of Jesus, we believe, Lord, you're going to move for her, for Carmen's friend that's awaiting a test result. So we pray for Regenia, Lord. Hallelujah. You are able, God, to move for her family member today uh, who has suffered this major accident and major injury. Sister Carol Dixon, Lord, be with her as she faces surgery. Uh, ben Ramey today needs your strength as he continues to recover from recent illness. Melena, Lord, she needs your intervention, Lord. Uh, Steve today, they need you, God, in their family. Hallelujah. Brother Mike Williams and these others we mentioned today with back pain, we pray for your touch for them, those with mobility problems. And Sister Marsha with her foot problem. Steve Echeverria, who's just suffered stroke. And all these we mentioned that are recovering from stroke. Anthony, Buddy. Billy Huey, Carmen's cousin Kelly, Joey, Dwayne, John Sutter, Sandra Julius, and Dottie, and all the others we mentioned today that need strength for continued recovery from various illnesses and accidents and health setbacks. In the mighty name of Jesus, we believe, God, that you're moving right now, healing kidney problems and liver issues and stomach problems, diabetes. In the name of Jesus, you're touching, Lord, these children today that need uh, resolution in their afflictions, Lord, and their health problems uh, that have been long-term for so many of them, those with chronic lung issues, those battling COVID and pneumonia and bronchitis and allergies right now in this seasonal change with the temperatures varying so widely each uh, day and from day to day. We pray for those, Lord, we mentioned today that are suffering with heart disease, those battling MS, Tracy needing to sell her home, those battling Parkinson's disease and migraines and those who are suffering from cancer. Lord, each one of them today, God, we bring to your throne of grace once again. We are trusting you, God, knowing that you are faithful and that you're going to answer according to your perfect will and timing and what is best for each situation. Hallelujah, Lord. We don't second guess today or question you in these matters. We know that you are working according to your plan and we know that all things work together for good to them that love you, to those who are called according to your purpose. And that is us today. We're in the palm of your hand. Hallelujah. We trust you, God. We pray, Lord, for those going through precautionary treatments, those on hospice care, those who suffer with dementia, those uh, battling with shingles pain today, and all other types of health needs. So, we lift up our missionaries today. You heard their names, but you know their names today. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we praise you, God. You're working in areas of severe persecution. There's nothing that can stop your church. The gates of hell shall not prevail against your church. Hallelujah. We pray for Pastor Hannah Angel and her congregation in Pakistan. We lift up the Tomyevs and the Pattersons 
and all of our missionary chaplains today, God, or all of our military chaplains, in the name of Jesus, we pray, God, for those who are in nursing homes today, these spiritual needs that we've mentioned this morning. We pray that you would move in every family, in every home. We pray, God, that uh, every person in our church uh, that would experience uh, the emotional healing that you have for them. Uh, so many times our emotional problems and uh, spiritual uh, matters and, and mental situations, Lord, are are affecting our physical health as well. And we know that you want us to be whole. Hallelujah. Help us, God, to see the importance of one another in the healing process. We pray for our military personnel and their families today. Protect them. Protect our service members. Lord, we pray for those who are first responders and those who uh, are, uh, work in the police force. And Lord, that you would, in the National Guard, along with all of our military branches, God, we pray your help and strength for each of them today. We lift up Gracie and Johnny. Lord, move. Let your will be done in their assignments. We pray for peace in Israel and Ukraine and in so many areas where there's a turmoil today. Our southern border, Lord, we need you to help us, God, with this situation. Haiti, this today. Pray, God, that you would move in those situations. Hallelujah. We pray, God, for our government to be able to be established that would be uh, stable and have the authority needed, God, to quell these uh, riots and uh, put these gangs um, under subjection in Jesus' name. We pray for Chelsea and Belinda, Lord, that you would move in their job situations. We lift up these unspoken needs to you today again, and we pray for peace and comfort for these families who have lost someone dear to them recently, those who have lost someone uh, in the tornadoes recently, those uh, uh, like Lanny and Starla who have lost possessions uh, in house fires and due to tornadoes. We pray for the Worthen family, the Sides and Cooks families uh, today as they mourn their loss. We pray for Anna and Carmen's other family members uh, mourning the loss of Anna's dad or and Anna's uh, mother. In Jesus' name, we pray your comfort, God. Hallelujah. Your peace, your help today. In the name of Jesus, let your will be done, God. And we give you praise and glory in all things. Amen. Amen. God bless you, prayer team. If you've been posting prayer requests and praise reports right now, I'll be going back and looking over those and adding those to our list for tomorrow's prayer time. Our prayer team members, no doubt, are seeing what you're posting and we'll be praying for your urgent needs uh, even now and through the day. So, so thankful that we have each other to lean on. And tomorrow we'll join together for our final prayer session for this uh, particular week uh, and then head into another great weekend in the Lord. Have a wonderful day in Jesus, and I'll see you tomorrow morning, Lord willing, right here at 730 a.m. Have a blessed day.